Well, good morning, everybody. I guess I'm kind of made a little series I didn't realize. I'm trying to explore new rivers every video or new lakes, just places I've never fished before. Today, I'm on the beautiful St. Mark's River. I've been on this river a lot. We come here all summer long, mainly just to swim. It's a spring-fed river. I'm at the lower end where it gets to uh, dumping into the gulf, so eventually it will turn a little brackish. It's pretty clear, but the higher up you go, it turns crystal clear. I'm gonna try to do a little bass fishing today. As many times as I've been on this river, I have never bass fished it. Like I said, we normally come here to swim and hang out, so uh, I've heard that they're biting on it lately. We're gonna throw a few lures, see if we can make it happen. <clears throat> there we are. Oh, it's a good little bass. Seen him come up and get it. That's the cool thing about this clear water. Nice little largey. All right. Let's get these old pliers out of here. Look at there. Oh, he wanted it. Dang. Well, look right here, my guy. Look at this. How awesome. Huge manatees. Wow. This river is full of those. Right underneath the boat. Sweet. I almost missed them because I was focused on that fish. Just don't ever know what you're going to see. Doesn't see an otter, manatees. that time ain't no big guy wow that little guy tore my lure up uh -oh. just in case y'all haven't noticed already I'm in my brand new gator tail boat I'm excited about this I've been dreaming about one of these for a long time this is gonna let me go to a lot of new rivers and lakes that I wasn't able to go before that I didn't feel comfortable going in such a little boat. I'm gonna take this out a couple times, do a few fishing trips with it, get comfortable and used to it, and then I'm gonna do a review on it. And I still have my little boat, if any of y'all are wondering, a lot of y'all have asked about it, and I will do a review on it too. Check him out. Well, as y'all see, <laughs> I had no intentions of fishing this whopper popper today. And I tied it on again. I ain't been catching a whole lot. So I've been tying on everything tackle box. Figured I'd tie that on. That's really only just a couple cast into it and I already got a little bass. Let's see. I've got a love-hate relationship with this lure. Some days it works great, some days not so much. For some reason I'm starting to have a little confidence in it and tend to tie it on when other things aren't working. Oh, look at there. I ain't catching no monsters. Are they coming up and getting this? Look at it down there in that old clear water. Isn't that so pretty? Coming, coming, coming. 
coming, coming, coming. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool with this whole clear water. I just seen him coming for ever. Yeah, ain't a bad bass. My friends, this is a nice swanny bass. Nice swanny bass. So they got him in this river too. Oh, little chunky guy. Oh. <laughs> Dead gummit. All right, all right. They liking this lure. They ain't big, but it's fun. I don't care. I'm doing a little experimenting too now. Boy, I posted a Whopper Popper video a while back. And everybody roasted me for how fast I was fishing this. Well, keep in mind, I'm in real swift currents. I got to kind of fish it fast. But the last few times I've went out, I fished it slow. Twitch did, did all the little tips. I didn't do very good. I have found, at least here, fishing this thing fast like I do a buzz bait. I tend to get more bites. little bass up here that's all right still fun still fun look at how clear that is I hope y'all can see it and that's 10 12 feet deep you see all the way to the bottom pretty neat I wanted to ask y'all I need some new ideas Y'all just enjoy watching nothing but fishing. I do a lot more stuff. Been thinking about doing some frog gigging. I hadn't done that in a long time. Like I'll be horrible at it, but now that I got a boat where I can go do that at night time. How about some bow fishing? Y'all wanna see some bow fishing? Mullet. I've actually been thinking about doing a gar catch cleaning cooks. They look really delicious watching them online. I've never ate one before, never got one. I might can bow fish one or uh, might try to get one rod and reel. Anyways, y'all drop me a comment. Let me know what y'all would like to see in the future. Anything water related, hunting, outdoors, I do it. I just kind of been stuck on fishing here lately. No. All right, new species for me this year, grass fish. So this is a bad lure. It catches sticks, grass, and fish. <laughs> Look at there. My lord, there's a pile of little bass up here. Well, guys, if y'all get tired of watching little bass, I apologize. Because I ain't tired of catching them. <laughs> little guy, little guy. He's little, but oh well. Get on up here. All right.
what can I say? We didn't catch a lot of big uh, fish this morning. Actually, no big fish, but I had a great time. Caught a pile of little fish, every single one of them on top water. I wouldn't have it any other way. I had a great time exploring that river. It's just beautiful. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed that as well. I'm trying to do somewhere new almost every video that I make. I'm still going to fish some older stuff eventually. I'm going to run out of places to go. I still have several more rivers and lakes around here. I'm just going to start traveling further to go to them. Uh, I'm loving what I'm finding. That's part of what uh, I wanted to do some of this YouTube for. That was one of the reasons I wanted to do it to motivate me to get out and go find new places. So hopefully y'all are enjoying that. Before I get out of here, I just want to show y'all my new boat that you'll start seeing in a lot of these upcoming videos. I'm going to do a full review on this after I've had it for a couple weeks. Go out and run it. Kind of get used to it. But it's a Gator Tail 1848 with the 40 horse motor on it, the new one. Got a few extra accessories again. I'll go over all that later. But man, a lot more room. A lot more enjoyable than that little boat that I had. And don't get me wrong, I love that little boat. It's carried me a lot of places. And it'll carry me some places this can't go. But this right here is definitely going to motivate me and allow me to go out and explore new places, travel further, you name it. I wanted one for, oh man, a couple years now, and nobody around here sells them. However, these guys right here is my local boat dealer. They started carrying them, and I just couldn't stand it no more. Driving by every day, seeing them out there, I just knew I had to have one. So that's the new boat. I've still got the old boat, if anybody's wondering. Excuse the mess. We're over here standing our property in the camper. This little guy, still have it. Don't know if I'm going to sell it, keep it. We're making our mind up on that. A lot of y'all have asked for a review on this boat. I need to quit dragging my feet and do that. But while weather's good and I'm fishing, I'd rather fish. But I will get y'all a review out on both of these boats so y'all can see what I'll be using in all these upcoming videos. So with that said, thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Uh, it gives me exposure on other channels whenever we have more comments more likes so uh hit that little subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it that'll let you know anytime i post a video i should have several more coming up i'm planning another fishing trip tomorrow so if i do good there i'll edit another video for y'all thanks for watching